Welcome back, Wolfpack Villas here, and this is how to use Weavile. So, Weavile is a Pokemon that I really enjoy for its stats. That it is a really good picture of a sweeper. 125 on the speed, 120 on the attack. That's that's just excellent right there. Also, you don't have the greatest defenses, but you do have something to where you can take not a super strong hit. So, 70 on the hit points, 65 on the fence, and 85 on special defense. Pretty much shows that you're going to be a glass cannon. Well, an ice cannon, because you're a dark ice typing. Your weaknesses, though, are ridiculous. That you have a, an insane amount of weaknesses. Fighting is four times weak. You have rock, bug, steel, fire, and fairy. It's not a good defensive typing at all. But at the same time, we already saw you're not really worried about being defensive. You just want to be fast, hit hard, and try to get as many KOs as possible before you go down without getting hit. And that's really what Weavile is going to be good at. Hopping into Pokemon Showdown, there's a lot of different ways of running Weavile. You can be super straightforward about it, or you can try to play around your opponent and get some extra damage gains. So, when we look at the first set, Weavile has a lot of really good things in its kit. That you have Fake Out, you have Ice Shard. So you have multiple forms of priority that are really just good at taking out dragons. Like, Weavile is one of the ultimate dragon killers, and just an outspeed, ice, dark kind of Pokemon. So it is very powerful in that regard. That you use Fake Out, you go into Knock Off, and between, depending on how frail the opponent is, it's kind of like a counter sweeper. That if you're out speeding, the opponent doesn't have a lot of defenses, fake out into knockoff while removing that item, while getting stabbed, while life orb boosting, does have a good chance of just knocking out the Pokemon right there. You also have Icicle Crash. It's a low power physical ice move, like 85 isn't insane, but at the same time, it's one of the highest ice moves in the game, and it only has 90 accuracy. So it's pretty much like a rock slide in a way of ice type moves because you have ice punch which has less damage. So icicle crashes, you might as well play that slight accuracy game and just hope you hit as hard as possible. Then you have ice shard for any kind of priority cleanups that you, you land a hit, they don't knock you out back but they are faster or something like that. Ice Shard is just really good to carry. Now you are going to want to run a Jelly Nature, that way you outspeed everything. It does hinder your attack a bit, but 120 base attack being fully invested, still 172 at level 50. And if we bump up to level 100, we're still looking at a pretty formidable level of attack, especially with the Life Orb boost and trying to get as much damage as possible. You know, knock off getting that 50% boost into stab. We're looking at a serious amount of power here. And then there is the Lychee Berry set. So this is a very fun and interesting set. A little bit of a gimmick, but it's also very strong if your opponent doesn't see it coming, that you're going to be able to boost your attack by one stage, which means you're getting more damage than the Life Orb, not worrying about the Life Orb burn, you don't have to worry about being locked into a choice item with like Choice Band or something, but you do need to set up your Substitute. Now Substitute with that Jolly Nature is going to be super fast, and making sure you have hit points that are divisible by four is very effective as well. So the idea is Substitute, get hit. Substitute, get hit. Substitute, get hit. Light you very it's proc'd, and if at any point your opponent, you know, they go for status. Well, the status isn't going to work unless they're prankster or faster than you. Or if they try to do something silly like that, they're setting up for themselves. You have a free substitute as Weavile. That is Weavile's playground right there. You knock off into an icicle crash. You knock off into more just damage all over the place. And then you can hide behind that substitute. And then you wait for that sweet spot. You know, light your berry procs. And then you now can look for some really solid KOs. Knockoff is going to be good damage. Ice Shard is good follow-up. Then you're pretty much just playing into this until you get a high amount of attack off that Lychee Berry. And you're good to go. Now some other things you can do is just go all-out attack. Go for that Swords Dance. That if Substitute doesn't break, well now you just Swords Dance. And now they have to deal with a plus three eventual Weavile. You really just can't do that, and you're re dealing with so much damage that you're going to be very strong about it. Now, I do want to mention Pickpocket here because it sounds like it might work, but at the same time, it probably really doesn't. That pressure is going to be the better option on Weavile in pretty much every situation because you're going to be relying on that knockoff, so you're already removing their item. Also, Pickpocket doesn't work if either Pokemon is behind a substitute and the opponent has to make contact with you, which really isn't going to happen, well, which isn't like a guaranteed thing, especially if you're at super low hit points about ready to get knocked out, so just go for the pressure, maybe they're using a very low uh, PP move, like if someone's using Gyro Ball against you, and you have that substitute up, you're going to be taking away a lot of their Gyro Balls, just because it has very low PP, and you're hiding behind the substitute. So Weavile can also be a Sword Stance Focus Sash Pokemon, pretty much take any of this move set, swap something out, you know, you could just kind of set up that way, take out Ice Shard, put in Swords Dance, go for Life Orb, take out Fake Out even, that, you know, Ice Shard is going to be better in the late game, Fake Out is just really good for disruption, breaking sashes, and following up into two hit KOs as a lead, so you can just kind of squeeze in Swords Dance however you want, and there's also some other moves you can use, like Low Kick, Pursuit, these are pretty solid moves on Weavile, that Low Kick, it's going to be fighting coverage, that you're going to be able to take out Steel-type Pokemon more effectively, your Rock-type Pokemon are going to be a little easier to knock out, and Heavy Pokemon are just going to take a lot more damage. So, Low Kick is good, and Pursuit. Pursuit is good instead of Ice Shard, that if you want to play that priority game, Power Doubles if a foe is switching out, that you bring this in on a Dragon-type Pokemon. 
no dragon type Pokemon is going to stay in on Weavile because it's no, it's, it's going to get outsped and broke, just destroyed. So Pursuit's going to get a huge amount of power boost. It's going to be able to knock them out if they are in low hit points, and it's just a really interesting tech that Weavile's can bring that is pretty strong. And then next up we have Assist. So Assist does some really funny things. It uses a random move known by a team member, but at the same time, it only takes from a certain or it won't take from a certain list of moves. So if you have Pokemon on your team that know these moves then they're not going to be able to copy them, and now you can actually manipulate how it's going to work. So what you want to do is have a Breloom and another Pokemon like a Smeargle that only knows Spore as usable moves. Now this is a really gimmicky kind of thing, it's only going to be for like Battle Spot uh, singles, because you can bring three Pokemon, it's only going to care about the Breloom, it's only going to care about the Smeargle, and it's only going to care about Weavile, and then you set it up to where only Spore is accessible. So now Weavile is going to open up with a really quick Spore attack, Put your opponents to sleep, that's going to be Swords Dance and a Knock Off Icicle Crash while still having a huge sport threat behind Focus Sash. And that's like the main Weavile gimmick right now. So uh, assist strategies are very in interesting like that, it's, it's not something, it's something that you have to learn, it's a bit complex, but once you understand like how the mechanics work, you set that up with a Breloom, you set that up with a Smeargle, and you have some very high success rates of just super cheesing your opponent with the Spore Weavile. Come on, that's, that's not fun and it's not going to be fair. So that's kind of what we have for Weavile. Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I hope you all have a nice day.